Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, we're going to take a look at building a custom 404 page for your website using Oxygen. So a 404 page is very basic, but it's pretty important to help convert lost visitors into visitors that find what they're looking for. And there are a few basic guidelines to follow when building a 404 page. You want your error message to be written in plain language for non-technical users. You want it to be precise in specifying what was done wrong. And then you want to provide some suggestions on steps the user can take to correct the problem. Bonus points if you can actually explain why the URL could not be found. Another nice thing your 404 page should have is a search so that the user can search for the thing they thought they were going to find, and some helpful links in case they're looking for something that's a little more common, so then those links are available and they can just click on one of those and go where they intended to go. Now, let's take a look at GitHub's 404. If we go over here to something that doesn't exist on GitHub, we get this nice graphic. It says 404, this is not the web page you are looking for, which is a good reference. And then we have a search like we talked about. And then down here, we have kind of a footer with, uh, with common links here. So we're gonna build something not quite like this, but something that kind of covers all of those bases. So let's go back over here to my very basic website I've built. It's completely broken. All of these links do not work and they take us to a page not found. Now, right now, I don't have a 404 template set up in Oxygen. So if a user clicks one of these links, they don't know what's wrong. They think my website's just broken, which it is. But we want to let them know explicitly that this page just doesn't exist. So let's jump into the back end. And to handle the 404 error page, we need to go to Oxygen and Templates. And we're going to create a new template. And we're going to call this 404 page. And then we're going to inherit our main template so that we still have our header and footer when someone hits a page that doesn't exist. And then we're going to go to where does this template apply, expand the other category, and then choose 404. Now we're going to publish this. Now anytime someone visits a page on my site that doesn't exist, this is the template that will be used. So let's edit this with Oxygen. Now that we're in Oxygen, we can start designing our 404 page. So let's create a section and let's just add some text. So we first need to decide what our language is gonna be. And again, we need to let them know what happened, but we need to write it in plain language. So I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to put the 404 in the text here, but I'm gonna make this kind of a secondary text element to the actual, uh, we'll call it flavor text that explains in plain language what's happened. So this we're gonna set to uh, above label. We're adding a class to it in case we wanna reuse this later. And we're gonna set it to 14 pixels and font weight is fine. We're gonna to go to advanced typography. We're gonna set it to uh, uppercase text transform and four pixels letter spacing. And then we can play with the color if we want and maybe make it a little less emphasized. Perfect. So now we have the error code, which is you know important to have, uh, but it's not the primary piece of information we wanna present. Uh, and then let's add another text element. Now this one's gonna be gigantic because I think it'll look pretty good. So we're gonna add in, let's try 40 um, and we'll say something like, whatever you're looking for is missing. Okay, so now we're saying whatever you're looking for is missing, 404 page not found, uh, but we're not just presenting them with this big uh, error code and expecting them to understand it. We're actually explaining what happened. And we can go further and add another text element below here that says, you're seeing this page because you tried to access something, a page, a post, an article, that doesn't exist on this website. Okay, so now we have provided you know ample explanation. Let's go into the typography settings on this big text here and change the line height to 1.2. And then let's go to advanced size and spacing and add some margin above and below. Maybe not above, uh, let's just do below because we have that text right above it. Okay, so now we're explaining what happened but what can the user do about this problem? 
let's add a search field. So let's go add search. And this is gonna let them search for something, which is great. Uh, let's change the background color to the button to match our uh, website colors. And then we're probably not gonna wanna just, you know, place it right there. We're gonna wanna put it somewhere more specific, but I wanna get all of our actions together. The other thing that we want to do is add some common links. So let's add a div. And actually this div will probably end up being the wrapper for all of the remediation actions that the user can take to correct this 404 problem. So we'll just go ahead and let's add some style to it. Let's go to background. Let's make it an off white, kind of a gray. Let's go to borders. Let's add a one pixel solid, uh, very, very slightly darker than the background gray. And actually sometimes when I'm working with borders and using colors that aren't super apparent, I wanna add my, uh, set my border width to something much wider so I can see it and then I'll adjust it down. So we wanna go just a little bit darker and then go back to one pixel. And then we'll do border radius of something like four pixels and then go to advanced size and spacing and go to 100% width. And then padding, let's just do 32 pixels all the way around. And then this here uh, search field will go back into there. Let's add a little text label to this that says something like, try these things instead. And we are going to next add in some useful links. So let's duplicate this text and say, here are some common destinations. Perfect. So let's do this down here. Let's change this to be more of a heading size. We'll do like 22 pixels. And then let's add some size and spacing and go margin, I don't know, 16 pixels below it. And then this search field actually looks okay there now. Um, so now we can go to advanced size and spacing and add some spacing below that, 16 pixels. And now below this, we're going to add a div because we want some links and then we'll add some text links. And these would be our common destinations, the things that we think they maybe were kind of looking for, but they mistyped something. So this would be like um, popular articles. We'll duplicate that and do something like bicycle repair guide. If you have like a really, um, a really popular thing that people are often looking for, then you can plug that in here so that if somebody ends up in a 404, you're at least converting them into traffic to one of those popular things. Even if they're not looking for it, maybe they just didn't know they wanted it. And now they'll see it and say, fantastic, that's what I want. Uh, so let's just do um, sword fighting tutorials. Okay, so this is some of our popular options. Um, we can lay this out a couple of ways. We could lay them out like this, um, but I kind of like uh, the way they look there. So let's do a little bit of a rearrangement on this because I want these things to be side by side. So I'm gonna add some columns to this div and then we're just gonna do a two column layout for these two options. So we're gonna say, try these things instead. And then one option is gonna be search. And then the other option is gonna be um, all of our common articles. So let's drag these in one after the other, make sure they're arranged properly. And then we wanna get rid of this div. And now we have uh, some helpful links and I just centered everything there. And then we're going to go to this text and add some spacing below that. Let's do 32. Um, now we have our basic helpful uh, 404 page, but it's a little dry. So let's go to uh, Pexels and let's grab something broken and see what we have. We have uh, this chalk, that's cool. It's really nice if you have like an SVG icon or something that you can incorporate, but for this, we're just gonna grab an image. So let's do, there was one I saw of a puzzle, puzzle with a missing piece, which I thought was kind of clever. So we'll grab that and we'll just use that maybe as a background image or something. So we can go on the section, advanced background, and then let's drop that image in. 
select it. And now we have a cool background image, but we also uh, have some text issues. We can't really read them over top of that background. So let's add an image overlay color of white and then back that transparency down so that we have uh, the hint of the missing puzzle piece in the background. Okay, so now if we visit our website, let's go back to the admin and then let's just visit our site. And now we're here and we click something that's broken or we typed a URL that's broken and we're gonna end up at this very helpful page that lets us know 404, page not found. Whatever I'm looking for is missing. I'm seeing this because I tried to access something that doesn't exist on this website. And here are some options I can try instead. As you can see, it's really easy to set up a 404 page on your WordPress site using Oxygen, but it's important that you hit a couple of these specific points to make sure the 404 page is serving a good purpose, not only for your website, but for your users. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up a 404 page on your WordPress website using Oxygen. Thank you for watching.